Montreal with Brett and Sean. And, oh, and they don't tell you what's going to happen. Can you talk about that? I can talk about that because this is an accomplishment that I never thought that I was able to do. That I did that. I don't, I don't know how I managed to do it. That's how much I love the business. That's how much I love the talent. The talent, they get lost. They get lost a lot of time. I'm proud, I'm proud of to tell you this story because the screw job, which you all heard about it, right? Yeah. right? Okay, so I was responsible for the match with Brett and Sean. And I could get it the day of in Montreal. I could get a f- day with Sean. Get a conversation with Brett. I could have a conversation with the other one. You're doing okay? You're all feeling all right with the match? F- you. We see what happened. Go to Brett. That'll be all right. What the f? We have a match. You know, you guys gonna be all right? No, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so. Now it's time for the match. Montreal. And out by the entrance is a curtain. Watch of the mat because when the match is over, they come by and I always say, All right, good match, enjoy it, you know. So I'm watching this match in Montreal, it's beautiful, the match is going great, blah, 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 blah. and all of us, and I'm usually next to me, Bernard Bulldog is next to me, and when, they, when I saw what happened, I'm like, What the f- is that? I had no f- idea. Wow, hell, and then now, John Michael gets out of the ring. Rick for water. I'm not running, I'm standing there. You click with it, crazy. So, when he came, when he came out backstage, Rick, I want you to know I had nothing to do with this. I was shocked. I could not believe what took place. Could not. It hurt me so much that I wanted to quit the business. And my car was parked in the parking lot down below in the building. I got my car. I drive three blocks away from the building. I parked and I go to the hotel bar and I have a few drinks and I'm going. It killed me. It really did. If there was a screw job, am I on it? I'm not. I'm trying to myself, trying to pick it out. I did. So now I said, wait a minute. I'm sitting here drinking, and I took my car and get out of the building. It looks like I'm hiding. I get in the car, get back in the building, all the way up the stairs, most of the people were gone, and I go to Brett's locker room, then they said, back, don't go to the lock, don't go, don't go in there, and the door, the door is locked, I said, I don't give a <laughs> now I knock on the door, Brett, or lock the door, this is bad, he wouldn't open the door, somebody else did open the door, and I walked right over to him, like you sitting there as a breath, I didn't have a f- thing to do with it. And if you trust me and you believe me, you shake my hand. He would shake my hand. That f- killed me. Okay, that was it. I left it like that. And when that got that breath for at least a year or two, it would never shake my hand. I would see him at, at Alligator Alley, Alligator Alley, uh, what did they call it? Cauliflower. Oh, oh, and I'd see him, Brett, come on, let's stop being stupid. No. Went to a family, a funeral. Brett, no. You would not shake my hand, though. Anyway, driving you amazing. It really hurt me how much I felt with Mark Jones. the shot, you know what the Brett 
I'm not into that. I was not me. I was just there to fight, you know. It took a long time. I arrived at one time in Vegas. In the, the stairways. I said, I had a oh, f I have to kick the out of you to get to fight with you. I'm going to fight somewhere to fight. You're going to shake my hand, you an idiot. And we finally shook hands. I hugged him. Oh, that made me feel good. A few months later, maybe seven, eight months later, that an event, you won't believe that, but I finally shook hands with Brett. He said, well, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you know, I just want to let you know that I finally did accomplish that. And I said, you know, by the way, Brett, now he can't wrestle anymore, but he could be a guest announcer, or he could be a guest referee, you know, and to people in Europe just love to see him. They loved him. Oh, I don't want to hear that. You know what I mean? And that Bret Hart came back, man. Yeah. Yeah.